Alright, it's been a while since we brought you some TFT action, so we figured today was as good a day as any. So, Treasure Trove Galaxy. I am still not sure what the hell this one's about. I think it's just a crap ton of extra uh, item spawns on the uh, Monster Combat rounds. Uh, not quite sure. Uh, I haven't really looked it up. It's still kind of new to me. But... Let's see what we can get. I kind of want to go for a sniper's build. I don't think I want to go full chrono. Maybe just, like, get the chrono. Because uh, chrono is really good, period. Especially if you get a gin. But, for some reason, I never tend to be able to get a really good chrono round anymore. I'm just not getting good RNG when it comes to it. But... Oh, there's a Blitzcrank. Nice and free. Go ahead and put that there. Oh, hold up, my beautiful fiancé is calling me. Hey, hon, you're on speaker. Say hello to the camera. Hello, camera. How was your day at work, honey? Oh, good. I decided to... I decided to record a TFT match since I haven't gotten one out in a hot minute. Okay. So. I mean, if you're recording, I probably won't stay on the phone too long. I don't want to distract you from... <laughs> kind of hard to distract me from TFT, but that's all right, honey. I don't mind either way. All right. Uh... Well, it looks like I'm going for that full chrono game after all. Hot damn. So far, I've got Kate Blitz and Shen. Well, shit. Yeah, I was. Uh, I don't know. I was just talking to the. I was just telling the camera uh, a couple of minutes ago how I I didn't think I was gonna go full chrono because usually I don't get that good of you know RNG lineup, but then immediately just run into oh hey here's all these chrono champs for free. Like okay, <laughs> if you want me to run chrono, I will. Yeah. So. And I already got a twisted fate for uh, ready for the next uh, level up as well, so. Alright, good stuff. Yep, yep. Well, still, glad you called me to tell you you were going your way home. Yeah. And I will be waiting for you here. Sounds good. Alright. Love you, honey. Thanks, baby. Mwah. Mwah. Bye. Bye. Alright, so we managed to get that round win as well. So, yes, that was my lovely, lovely Lady Erica, as I'm sure you all know by now. But for those of you who haven't caught up, she and I have been together for, oh man, it'll be nine years this winter. Oh, and what a nine years it has been. All right, though, it's time to get back to this. Uh, so like I was saying when Erica was on the phone, it looks like I am going to end up going full chrono because it's just going to give me a chrono. I mean, well, I'll have the four chrono buff. I don't think I'm going to try for the six. As awesome as that can get, I just don't see. I just don't see the necessity of getting much past that. It's it's a nice. Oh, they changed how Chrono works. Oh my word. Probably for the best. Alright, so Chrono no longer gives just a flat attack speed buff every 4 seconds that increases with rank. It now gives a flat 15% attack speed that decreases the time increments as it goes on. So now we're down to every 4 seconds. So now we are at the baseline of what Chrono used to be. So they, they nerfed the shit out of Chrono because it was getting too strong. 
Gotcha. Personally, I never saw enough of Chrono to do that much work, but... Let's see. Yeah, no, that's really... That's just a really hard nerf, because at four-man chrono it used to be 70 or it used to be 45 percent it was either 35 or 45 percent attack speed every four seconds so having that nerf means that even when i hit look i'm never going to hit the same baseline with this even if i had six man attack speed if, even if I had the gold chrono buff now, it wouldn't even equal the silver chrono buff of old. Yeah, I'm definitely not investing any more into that then. That's just... I don't know, a little sad, kind of. Like, I didn't think chrono was that strong beforehand, because even with a six-man buff, I just don't feel like it ever truly... Lent itself to to uh, a, a decent game, but Riot obviously knows better than I do, so I'll trust their judgment and uh, just do my thing here. And that thing is going to be given crit gloves to Caitlyn to give her some higher crit chance, give her some more damage. Let's see what we can grab out of her. All right. Let's see who we can grab. There's an Ash for next level. That's about it. That's alright, more than enough. Ash is going to add a lot of power to this game. Well, there's the Shen dead, but so is the Jarvan. There's her. All right, fantastic. We got through it without losing too many people. Good stuff, good stuff. Oh. Another Caitlyn. There's my two-star Twisted Fate. Could really use another Blitzcrank, but I mean, that's okay. After this round, we'll probably invest in XP so that we can get the Ash on the field earlier. Make sure it's out for the Terror Bursters, just to give us that little bit of an edge. Oof. There goes the Blitzcrank real frickin' early. So they've got Celestial Protectors, which is aggravating. But it looks like we're getting through their lineup pretty solid, so it's all good. Get that Ash out. And the two-star Blitzcrank, just as we were asking about. I'm going to throw the Ash over in this area, over by the Twisted Fate. Not sure if that's the best idea right yet, but we will worry about it later. We know at least one person grabbed a Blitzcrank. Don't know if they kept it. Let's look. Yup, alright, so they kept it. So yeah, running the twist running the ash over there was probably the better idea, so that they pull like the, the Blitzcrank. The Blitzcranks pull each other or something. There's one terror burster down. Ooh. Okay, so Caitlyn gets an Infinity Edge, and Ash is going to get a GA. Now, the next Infinity Edge I get, if I get another one, is going on to the Ash. Another two-star Ash, or sorry, two-star Caitlyn. So we are getting 
very close to seeing a three-star Caitlyn, and when three-star Caitlyn has an Infinity Edge, that's pretty good. Red buff is just kind of something, you know, I didn't want to waste the, uh, I didn't want to waste the, the, pretty sure she started with the, uh, yeah, she started with the, the armor. I didn't want to waste the chain vest. So, red buff was just the good idea there. I could have waited for a GA, but I didn't really have anyone I wanted to throw tank stats on, and having Caitlyn with some kind of tank so she doesn't get obliterated by the enemy is a pretty decent idea. Nice. All right. Managed to pull the victory out there. Kind of sad that TF died so fast to the Shaco, but it happens. Grab the Shen. Darius isn't a bad idea, but I don't think I'm going to invest in that just yet. I'm going to hold my ground to try and find that Jin because Jin is just strong. The Chrono Buff definitely weakens the Jin combo by a lot. But a lot of games I tended to have just Bronze Chrono with Jin anyway. So the nerf probably won't feel too different, except for the fact that I can't run a hard, as many combos as I used to and still get a decent Chrono Buff. At least they didn't change Celestial. Brawler's still normal. Snipers got buffed. Alright, that's why they nerfed Chrono. Alright. Let's crunk. Grab these TFs. Nice, we're looking pretty solid. <clears throat> Hopefully we can grab a couple more ashes here pretty soon as well to get the ash up to two star. Really don't care if she ever hits three star, but a two star ash is just beautiful. Goodbye, Syndra. Oh, goodbye, lineup. That sorcerer is going to be a real problem later if no one shuts them down super hard. But, they're on the bottom right now. I don't know why all of those weird champions are in the lineup when they're very obviously running sorcerer. Well, no, that's just a weird buff. Looked like sorcerer for a second, but it's just weird. Alright, so who do we have? No one I'm really interested in, honestly. Kind of like the BF sword, but chances are I'm not going to get that. Might try for that J4. Yep, I'll try for the I'll try for the crit gauntlets on the J4. Alrighty then, I guess I'm just going to throw a bramble vest on my shin because that's that's also a good idea. Caitlyn, Bramble Vest on the Shen, two star Shen, grab a Blitzcrank, hold on for that two star Blitzcrank. We are getting ever closer to three stars very, very much on all of our champions, so very happy to see that. We only need one more Caitlyn, and then three more TF and Shen. Still haven't seen an Ash. Or maybe we have, and I'm just blind and missed it in the lineup. Do that too often to keep track of anymore. All right, that Zaya's getting a little scary. But it should be all right. Oh, beautiful combo. Beautiful. The Ash Arrow followed up by the TF Wild Card. Just gorgeous. There is my three-star, Caitlyn. 
And see, now she's at 161 AD with 45% crit chance. So the Infinity Edge is always a good option on her early. She does fall off later because her stats aren't that great, but she will basically insta-give anybody. That's 3,000 damage. That is 3,000 damage. It takes a lot of magic resist. It takes a Dragon's Claw to stop a Caitlyn. Though, to be fair, sometimes even, not even that's enough. Alright, so it looks like we have this match pretty easily. Yep. <coughs> that's all she wrote. All we lost was a Blitzcrank. Alright, so now we got the Infiltrators. There's an Ash. Finally. Hopefully we'll see some good lineups, some good items here. And I think I think that is what this what this galaxy is is uh, a guaranteed item from every one of these monster combats. No, nope, never mind. Not a guaranteed item. Not even. Oh no! Yep, that's five five enemies, five items. That's a good run. Uh, I think I'm gonna throw the Ginsu's. I think I'm gonna throw a Ginsu's Rage Blade and then a. Uh, Runan's Hurricane on the Ash. And then I will throw another giant spelt on... I will throw a giant spelt onto the Shen. I'm not getting that Wukong. I'm holding up for a Jin. Alright, so now she's two-star with Ginsu's and Runan's and Krona. Should be pretty alright. It's a decent amount of damage that she's dealing out. So, we're doing pretty damn good so far on an 11 game hot streak. Grab that ash. Hopefully I'll see two more Twisted Fates before all is said and done. I am probably going to have to figure out someone to send out until I can get that gin. I just don't know who it's going to be. I could make it a Zaya if I see one again. At this point, probably not. Rakan, Kassadin, both good options. Not so much the Xin Zhao at this state of the game. Alright. I could also technically throw something out like a Velkaz. That would give me Sorcerer buff, which would be kind of stupid with the amount of damage that my my team already does. I'll hold on to this Brawler. This Cho'Gath, see if I can get anything better. Anything I'd like more, I should say. I think I actually want the Celestial buff. just because I'd like to get some healing on my people. Because right now they don't have any, and I'm really worried that that's going to uh, make them struggle towards the end of the game. Alright, so Blitzcrank should pull Blitzcrank here. Oh, Blitzcrank pulled Caitlyn, and Blitzcrank pulled Gritzplank. <coughs> that's just a tongue twister. But that is just a lot of damage that got sent out, so we're all right there. Oh, honey, you want to jump up? You want to jump up, honey? Come on. Nope, oh, she's scratching her neck. What do we got? Another Blitz Crank? Not bad, not bad. Oh, there you are, honey. Hey, baby girl. Oh, honey. She's been doing this all day. I was recording my Legends of Runeterra games, and I swear two games in a row 
she wanted to be on my lap. I think she only got on camera for one of them, but she's just so cuddly today. I'll take it. Anytime my cat wants to cuddle is a win for me. Mm. Ain't that right, princess? She's just grown out of her baby fat, too, so she's getting that tiger look in her face. Real pretty kitty. Throw that Rakan out. We'll throw him right there in the middle. Um, sad day. I got nothing I wanted. That's all right. We're still on a 13-game hot streak, so we can't really complain. Uh, we are getting a little worried about falling off, but I think we've still got a little time before that becomes too much of an issue. So that's an Ash and a Lulu. Ah, so this is the man with the Shaco. Still very dead. Sorry, Lulu. Just not enough. Oh, she likes to lay her head over my forearm, just kind of like... Mm. She gets all comfy like that. How am I supposed to play? I'm not supposed to play, pretty kitty. Oh... Oh, now she's got her arm tucked under my face. Tuck. She got her face tucked under my arm. You're so sleepy, kitty. You're adorable. Refresh this lineup. There's my three-star bullets. Ooh, baby, that looks good. Might try and see if I can throw a Morellonomicon on him at some point. That might be a good call if I can get myself a uh, needlessly large rod out of the Arc Raptors. Also, if I get another Giant's Belt, I'm going to throw that on the Shen. Give him the Warmogs. Alright, we got some Dark Star, an Ash, a Zaya. So he's got some Celestial. Not looking like it's going to matter all too much. This poor guy's just not got a team that I can't wreck through. Interesting choice to Dark Star the Zaya. I remember doing that once. I'm pretty sure I made that a video. Uh, and that was kind of horrifying to watch Zaya go absolutely insane like that. Because she hit three stars. She had all the Dark Stars around her. But I just don't think it mattered too much in the long run. Definitely not for him. Ooh. We need a couple more. We're getting there. Hold up for that Rakan. I would like to get him to two-star. I'm probably going to stop looking for him after he hits two-star. Just because that's just too many things to keep looking for. I don't want to get slot-locked. Alright. We did get a giant spell. Oh, we got a spatula. Interesting. We got two giant spells, so we can make two Warmogs. Doesn't seem like a bad idea. Get rid of the Kale, get rid of the Aurelia. Not really interested in them at the moment. Go ahead and Warmogs. Warmogs. That's an Infiltrator's Talons, right? You know what? That actually sounds like a fun idea to throw on Rakan. Gives him a weird angle in on people. <clears throat> I actually want to see what that does. I haven't even thought of doing something like that until now. There is... Oh, we are getting there. Now we just need some Shens, some Rakans, and a lot more Ashes. Alright, so Shen's about to have some trouble. Or, by Shen. I, my, my team looked for a second like it was about to have trouble, but between the Caitlyn's alts and the three Star Blitz Crank alts, Nah, we were more than fine. Only looked like it for a second. There's another Shen. Oh. There we go. There we go, kitty. We're going to have such a good game today. going for a classic Chrono Celestial Sniper. Really nothing special about it. This is 
easily one of the builds I've had the best experience on all around. Ugh. Blitzcrank saved my ash from an untimely fizzled. That should give us enough time to tear through the rest of the team. Fantastic. 17 game hot streak. It's been a while since I've gotten this far. Feels good though. Now with that three star Shen with a War Mogs and a Bramble Vest. Let's see, he's got... Let's see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that does. I'm pretty sure he just about caps the 150 per second at nearing his 3,000 health. So what I'm probably going to do is try and throw a uh, Sword Breaker on him next. Get him some more resistance stats or maybe a Dragon's Claw. Since he's got the Bramble Vest, if I can get him a Dragon Claw. Ooh. Oh, poor Blitzcrank. Oh! Oh, that was beautiful. His dying breath pulled the Jin into range for the Ash Arrow. That was gorgeous. And that knocks a player out of the game. So, my apologies to approximate. That's going to be the end for you, bud. Um... Another GA wouldn't be bad. We'll have to see what's left. Honey decided to finally get off of my lap. Probably only be for a moment, though. Uh, I could... You know what? I think I'm going to take this Bramble Vest, this extra Bramble Vest. I'm going to throw it on my Blitzcrank. Because that will give me two Warmogs, two Bramble Vests on two very beefy boys. There's three-star Rakan. We don't need her. We need that. Because he's got 2,500. So Warmog's Bramble Vest is almost as good on Shen as it is, or on Blitzcrank as it is on Shen. We have our three-star, or two-star Rakan. So we can hunt down more Ashes and more Rakans. And, you know, maybe, maybe we'll see a Jin later. I'll be pretty excited if I do. All right, so this is a buy round against Bum Three. I think I've faced him a few times now. Yep, he's the Dark Star Zaya. It's just not going to be enough. He just doesn't have any real threat to my team. You know what? I don't think it's the Chrono doing it. I think it's actually the Chrono nerfs that have let, let me do this because everyone else seems to be trying to run Chrono in some facet. Not everyone else. Let's see. You don't have any Chrono. You've got a little bit of it. No, you're just running Sorcerer. Oh, no. Everyone's run away from Chrono with the nerfs, and I think they've forgotten that it's still attack speed bonus. Like, it's still good. It's just not nearly as good. It's a significant nerf. But it's still strong. Oh, that was a good thread the needle alt to get in on everybody. Oof. Poor guy. Man, a 20-game hot streak. Am I ever going to lose one this this time? Is this one of the rare occasions where I actually go straight up first and never lose a round? I swear if that happens, that's going to be gorgeous. Alright, so I got a three-item cane today. For once. That What a three items it is. Holy shit. Well, there's finally another Ash. Jesus. All right, so I'm definitely going to put the Ginsu's Rage Blade on. I think I'm going to put the GA on the Blitz. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the GA on the Blitz. I'm going to put the spear on the Shen. 
I'm gonna put the spear on the Caitlyn, and I'm gonna put the Ginsu's on the Shen. And we will see what that does to my overall power level here in a heartbeat. Because Spare Shojin means she's going to be using her ability more often. She's got 125 mana, so that 18% of her max mana on hit is going to make her fly once she casts her first one. It's going to be a bit till she does, but if there's anyone left after the first one, chances are she'll get to hit them again. If she's alive. Once again, the Untimely Fizzult is blocked by the Blitzcrank, who is going to revive. And she did start the ult, she didn't finish it, but she started it. And there's another player knocked out of the game in Salamanca. Sorry, Salamanca, that's the end for you. We are down to the final three, and I still have yet to lose a match. What is this game? They've only got 13 and 15 health respectively. I win against either of them, and they're out of the game. I haven't even found a Jin yet. I haven't even put out my seventh champion. I'm not even level seven. I have not, I've spent X money on XP once this entire game and I have not lost a match. What the absolute hell is this? That sniper's buff cannot be the doing the difference. All right, so we are up against Son of Anarchy 28. He's got the most people, but can his people beat my people? That's looking like a pretty strong no. I do believe that's the end of him. All that's left to see is if Boomlon... Boomlon beat his lineup, so now it's Boomlon against me. For the f what could possibly be the final match of the game. Is it going to happen? Am I going to make a 23-game undefeated match? I'm getting excited. Come on. Let's see what you got. I think this one's the Sorcerer one, because he's got the three-star Syndrome. It's not just sorcerers, he's got some other stuff too, but that's the end of that. Ladies and gentlemen, series six, round three, undefeated, first place victory. I think that's legitimately the first time I've actually been undefeated. That, I, I don't even know what to say. That was unbelievable. It just felt like a normal match at first. I was just waiting for my build to fall off. I swore it was gonna. That's what usually happens. That was awesome. So... I'm going to leave this one here. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment in the section below if you want to see anything specific out of us or just want to give us your undying love or hate. And don't forget our social media tags are in the description below. So if you want to get a hold of us, get on the channel, get into a game with us, let us know. We're always looking for company. We're always happy to say hi. And as always, I will see you all very soon. Have a great day.